Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and this video is not going to be that helpful to too many people, except for the person that emailed me. A couple of days, somebody emailed me and wanted to make a clock out of a painter's palette for a painter, and they're going to engrave some stuff on it, but they wanted to know how they could equally put the uh, ticks of the clock around this object. And I thought about it for a day or two, and I tried the envelope tool, and it didn't work. I um, I tried stretching it and then changing it, and I'm just going to show you a little example. If you take a round clock face, let me zoom in here, and you stretch it trying to get it to that painter's palette shape, Okay, and then you, and we're going to hit P and put it in the center of the page. And I've got some uh, lines cut at 30 degree angles. Whoop, I deleted it. Press P on the keyboard. And by stretching it, you're off. You know, they're, the 3, 6, 9, and 12 are on, but the other ones have been stretched. And uh, it won't work. Well, my new clock I just designed just now, let me make sure this is grouped together, control G, I'm gonna put it in the center of the page. Now my ticks aren't in the center of the page, I kind of moved them around a little bit. So I'm gonna to have to adjust it when I bring this into the center of the page. Because I wanted more of the palette. So let's uh, grab this. And just move it over. Got my nudge factor set too high. Let's point point two five. Make it a little bit less, and it is dead on. Now it looks funny. Let me get a little bit closer. It looks funny and they look off and these still might need to go down a here or up a here. But, um, you know, if it's for a painter, evidently it is. Uh, they might think it's a little uh, unique and artistic because if you put your uh, dial for your clock right there on these, the hands are going to turn and they're going to look funny. And I don't know what she's going to, they're going to do about having short hands and long hands. But if you put a tick around there that would get, you know, say right in here, and it's, at least it's aiming for that deal. So then you would just get rid of my, let me put my nudge factor back on 20 inches. And that's what it would look like. Now, how I did that. Just real quick, I forgot the reason for the video. Let's just move this out of the way and let's put this new one in the center of the page. Now we need to break it apart because I don't want to mess with that. So I'm going to go to range and ungroup. And let's just move this guy out of the way for a second. Let's set our nudge factor like on five inches. Let's just set this out of the way. Now I'm going to use the contour tool on this. Go to effects, contour. I'm going to contour one, one step to the inside of one inch. Okay. Now that is the center of the page. So I'm going to make sure I mark it this time. And this is what we're going to do. We're going to leave it like this this time. I moved it over trying to get the bulk. And you can do that, but for the video purposes, I'm going to do that. Just draw a elongated rectangle. And when you grab something, let me zoom in here. You get these nodes and they're handle moving nodes. But if you're in the center, it'll put it right in the center. So you see where I'm going with this? Control D and make a duplicate and move that to the center. Rotate this 30 degrees. I'm off a little bit. I'm going to have to make my 
uh, numbers by, I'm going to have to make my rectangle a little longer. So it'll cover everything up. Let me get rid of that rectangle. So, make a duplicate, control D, and rotate it 30 degrees. And what I'm doing, I'm rotating on the center of the page on the axis, and you can see I'm going into right in the middle of the indexing lines. Now, just take your Smart Fill tool and fill in these little squares. And you can, once again, you see the indexing lines are right in the center of our ticks. Now, if I would have grouped those together, I could easily move them. But let's, uh, let's just delete them real quick. Now you remember I contoured, so I'm going to have to break this contour apart. Click on it, go to range, break contour apart, get rid of that center line, and move this back to about where it should go, and then um, find out what size clock you're going to use. Movement, put P on the keyboard, and put it in the center of the page. And this will work. It doesn't look like it will. Because uh, these, some of these look like this is closer and these are further apart. But I think it's just because of the fact that they're further apart. So the hand is going to take longer to get there. But it's only going to take five minutes. So let's hit P on this. And you can see we are dead on with our ticks. Anyway, I hope it helped them a little bit. And thank you for watching.